Action. This is our 24 week update. I got a list of things to talk about. Recently, I don't know, I've never had acid reflux before and I don't know if this is acid reflux, but like the night before, I was in the middle of sleeping in the middle of the night and then I just got like, this might be TMI, but some vomit came into my throat and it was like, not like I threw up in my mouth, but like something slipped up from inside of me into my mouth and then it like woke me up obviously and <clears throat> I had to like swallow it and it was like burning. The like leftover burning sensation of like bad, this acidy bad taste in my mouth, which I'm assuming is acid reflux, but I don't know. Um, so I like swallowed, coughed a little, went back to sleep. Then maybe, I don't know, a few hours later it happened again and I was like, ugh, this is so gross. So I was like, I hope this doesn't start happening all the time now, which I had been feeling like this could happen because like sometimes when I lay down, I feel like stuff right here. Like I need to burp, but I don't want to burp because stuff could come in my mouth. But anyways, um, and then it actually did when I was sleeping. So. And I slept through all of this. Yeah, and um, so then, but I have been like taking my prenatal vitamin like right before I go to sleep um, and drinking like a glass of water before I go to sleep, which might be like, I'm not giving myself enough time to digest because last night I didn't drink anything And I didn't feel like, even when I lay down, I didn't feel like that. So we'll see. I might try to take my prenatal vitamin earlier and see if that makes a difference. So that happened. Um, what else? Um, oh, I meant to mention this last time, but I definitely like, obviously like I look pregnant now, but I like feel like I move more like a pregnant person. Like getting up is not as easy, which this has been going on for like a few weeks now, like since I went to Arizona, like when I get out of bed, I can't just like sit up because like sometimes I feel like a sharp pain or it gets like really hard when I go to sit up. So I have to like ease into getting up and stuff. Um, I mean, I definitely have a belly now and moving is not, you it's know, fluid. yeah, as fluid as it was before. I'm getting so burned right now. <laughs> um, then let's see. Do you want to move? No, I'm okay. Okay. Tell them about uh, your stomach feels like a backpack. Okay. Well, I just like, I mean, I wasn't running for exercise. I just had to run to go get something the other day. And running definitely feels very weird with having this like belly now. Like it's, I was trying to explain to Chris. It's not like something where it's like, it's attached to me very like I know it's inside of me but it feels like it's I've never had a big belly before so like when I run it's like bouncing up and down I told him it's kind of like having a backpack that's like not when you don't strap it really tight and you try to run and it's like jiggling I don't know but so I can't imagine how pregnant women are like running and stuff unless their thing is attached more firmly than mine which could be doing the 20 pull a case <laughs> yeah um so, oh, I was going to tell you guys about our upcoming hospital schedule this week because it's going to up. So today we're going for our hospital tour, which we should have done, like, probably, when, like, I guess when you're looking around for places to, like, have birth, we, we probably should have done this, but... We should have done this before we decided which hospital we were going to go to. <laughs> right, exactly, because then um, I would have known that I can't have a water birth at this hospital, but... I didn't really think about it because they had, they said they had birthing, no, they said they had like tubs, which I assumed that you could have birth in, but they're just for like laboring in. Um, so that's kind of disappointing because I was really, not that I know for sure that that's what I want to do, but I at least wanted to have the option. And the other place that we looked at before, um, we decided on where we're going now, definitely like that was an option, but I don't know. I didn't really love that place either, which I do really like where we are. I just wish that I could have the option to have a water birth. So I still am not really like um, at ease with this decision because I still want to be able to do this, but we'll see how it goes. So that's why I, I kind of wanted to do the tour to see like actually where we'll be having birth and I don't know, all the procedures and stuff. You guys will probably see the tour of the hospital before you see this video. Yeah, maybe. So we're doing that today. Um, 
I'm working this weekend and then Sunday evening I we've been like needing to sign up for like childbirth classes but I just had like there's so many options I had no idea like what to do or which one was gonna work best for us um, but after like doing a lot of reading and stuff and because I'm doing a natural birth um, I decided on hypnobirthing classes so I think there's like a lot of different like you can just do the, where you read the book on your own or you listen to the CDs on your own but um, because this is our first kid and we've obviously never done this before um, I decided to pay for the classes which was not really like who likes to spend money really I don't but um, I think it'll be useful for us and so it's seven um, seven week of seven weeks of classes which they say you should take like starting kind of now for because of the classes for people who are doing mid-august to late to September so it's perfect for us and so it's five weeks of the hypnobirthing like learning the technique and all this other stuff and then um, one week of like child like care I guess for like if we don't know what to do when it comes out with it and then one week of like breastfeeding instruction so it's not a lot of childcare and breastfeeding instruction. It's more for like to manage your, you know, learn the techniques of pain, pain management and stuff and like how me and Chris work together during that. Um, so we start that on Sunday. Then Monday we're doing um, a meet the midwives. So where we go, there's I think, I think like seven midwives. And so far we've only seen two of them. And they said that, um, you could either choose to see the same midwife for your whole um, like prenatal appointments but that could not be the midwife that ends up um, like working with you when you go into the hospital because they all take like 24 hour rotations so they suggest seeing a different midwife every time which we've been open to is just we happen to get the same one twice and then right now we got the same one twice again so um, it makes sense to go visit them all so yeah so we definitely we really liked the one that we had first and um so it kind of sucks because if you find one that you really like like you still have to use the other ones because you don't know if you'll get her when you go into labor um but so far i think we've liked both of them the first one was better than the second one yeah but uh, the second one wasn't bad by any means but the first one was just yeah better. we just connected better with the first one so um we're going in on monday and it's like it's like in the it's blah, blah, blah. it's in the evening and they just invite you know like all their patients to come in so you can meet all the ones that you haven't met yet um, which I think is cool because it could work out where we haven't met all of them by the time we get to delivery so at least now we we will have had like time to midwife meet face to face midwife speed did yeah that's that's kind of what they call it so it's pretty cool um, and then let's see then the following Monday the 15th is our um, my glucose test which is say they said it's gonna take like two hours I have to like fast for starting the night before which I'm not looking forward to <laughs> um, so then I drink the stuff in the morning and I have to stay there for like the whole time so I'll drink the stuff and then I have an appointment scheduled during that time so that'll be my 26 I think week appointment and then they'll I don't know I've never done a glucose test before so then we finish checking how I process glucose or something so pretty busy um, baby schedule for the next two weeks and other than that let me see if I wrote anything else um, that's really all um, we oh bird oh the bird almost attacked us I got scared too <laughs> other than that um, I put together a shelving thing to kind of get ready for all the baby stuff that we are going to probably start to be collecting. Um, his mom and sister have gotten us some stuff that they're gonna ship over before the baby comes. My mom has gotten us um, a couple things and then all the stuff that I got from my um, baby shower and then I think me and Chris are gonna probably slowly start to get some stuff and we've been trying to get diapers and wipes and stuff so starting to get organized slowly but surely pulling everything together yeah well i think that's all let's do a belly shot okay
Hey! <laughs> Why are you not taking your nap? Hmm? Is it because your mum's not feeding you? Chris, I'm feeding him.